Hello and welcome to the final part of Let's Play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. As always, I am Zero, and, uh, well, it's been a while, hasn't it? What, about a few months? I recently got better hardware. In fact, I recently got an Alienware to replace my, uh, my laptop that I've been using to record these videos, so... Now I don't have to worry about my uh, computer dying midway through a, uh, a video playthrough because that has actually happened once or twice in the past and it was very annoying when it's, you know, when it's done that. So now that I have better hardware, um, uh, I upscaled my graphics a little bit. Now I can do the recording and all that good stuff properly, so that's awesome. So let's get this game finished already. Let's let's get it done. And let's also listen to the birds uh, be loud because they have been loud every time I've tried to record and it's really annoying. But anyway, last time we played, we uh, we got to Burnside, which is a real life skate park in Portland, Oregon. That is still running today, mind you, and that's pretty awesome that they're still going. So now we're going to go to San Francisco, California, for our last normal level in this game, which takes place on the streets. So let's go. And as you can see, our to-do list here in San Francisco, we got to get 25,000 points in a single run, uh, wreck five cop cars, collect the skate letters, find the hidden tape, and get 50,000 points within a single run. And I'm going to divide this up. We're going to do the points first, then find the skate letters, then get the hidden tape, and then get the cop cars. So, the streets. Um... The streets are the hardest level in this game. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that. But if you know what you're doing, it's really not that bad. The problem is, though, trying to get combos in certain places is actually a lot easier said than done. Now, a really nice place to get points is this little area right here. So long as you uh, keep variety in your grand combos, and maybe try to do a spin or a trick each time you uh, get off the rail, you'll have the points goal done in no time. In fact, as you can see, I'm already halfway, halfway to the goal. Also, for uh, hazards in this level, we have, uh, we have a tram, a San Francisco tram, but more importantly, a Volkswagen Samba bus. Oh, that would have been such a good combo. That would have that would have done it. Let's uh, dust ourselves off and uh, try that again. You don't want to get hit by the tram nor the bus. It wastes time, and well, getting hit by a hippie bus is uh, very annoying. It's also annoying as when you're trying to get on the rail, but you know the game just doesn't want to register you onto the rail for whatever reason. This is my fourth attempt trying to record this, whether it be due to interruptions or the other mic that I was using, which is a Samson Meteor mic. I'm trying to get that to work without too much interference in the background, but those birds, man, they, they like to make themselves known. This is gonna be close. But since I did my special trick work, which means yay! We have, uh, we have the pro score tape down. So, since we got two tapes, we get two little messages. Our first message is our competition invite, which is in Roswell. I'll elaborate more on that when we get to it. And the second message is a message about how many tapes that are left in the game since we've unlocked all the stages and, uh, all the boards. So, now that we have the high scores out of the way, let's, let's go get the skate letters. Now, the skate letters. The skate letters in this level are kind of annoying. But if you know how to get them, if you have a strategy to get them, they're not they're not too bad. The letter S is going to be right over here by the, uh, the Hubble Ledge, which is a pretty famous skate spot that was also recreated in uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, because San Francisco uh, returns in that game. And it looks a lot different than this place. 
The next letter in skate is going to be over by the donut shop, which is down here. Um, you can either transfer onto a little ramp that's up here, or you can do that, what I just did. I prefer to do that way because it's a lot less tedious. The next letter in skate is going to be over here in Chinatown. Um, the letter A is actually located right over here. The next letter, which is T, is going to be located down here at this little ledge area over by the, uh, the Bagata. You want to get up here onto this ledge, go through the window, and then jump to get the letter T. And then you can either take the ramp or you can just, you know, jump out the window like I did. Finally, the letter E is going to be in this cathedral that's right here. Uh, it's in it's in the bowl, so you want to obviously get uh, a high enough height to grab it. Now I don't know if I ha I don't know if I have enough time to uh, grab this, but I'm gonna try. I don't think I have enough time, but I'll uh, see how far I can get. The way to the hidden tape is this way. You want to jump off the ramp, make the fountain gap, and then jump off that ledge. But you want to land on that ledge. The law is moving on to you, and fast. Just two tapes left? Only two more to go! What a shocker! Let's try and get that hidden tape, though. So I'll do what I did last time and, uh... Attempt to get the tape, because the tape in this level is actually kind of a pain to get. So let's just rinse and repeat what I did last time. You want to jump on the ledge, then you want to jump off of this ledge onto this ledge, and then from this ledge you want to go to this ledge, and hey, I actually landed it. Now you want to go up this little, uh, this ramp right here, and as you can see there's, there's a bit of an edge, a sign of sorts, that is, you know, that looks like something of a ramp. You don't want to do that though. This is... this, um, trying to get this part recorded and all that fun stuff has been an interesting experience, as I've earlier... or as I previously mentioned. And since I'm actually getting really close to, uh... you know, getting this finished, I, uh, really don't want to delay on it much longer because, knowing me, I'll probably slack off and, uh, you know, push it away some more. But now that we're up here, Stay on the ramp, and then once you get to the edge of the ramp, jump, and then... If you land on that, if you land in the center of the pagoda, you'll get the tape, no problem. So, now that we've gotten our scores, our hidden tape, and our skate letters, there's only one more thing to do in San Francisco, which is the miscellaneous goal. So now we have to go and find the five cop cars scattered around the level and break them. The first one is right here. All you have to do to break them is just simply jump up and grind on them. That will, uh... That will break the cop car, quote-unquote. The second police car is over here by the donut station. And, uh, don't know if any of you will catch this reference, but... Cops go in for coffee, not for donuts. Uh, the next two cop cars are gonna be right here, checking out what seems to be a murder scene. Oh, it's authentic, too. Tape and everything. Wow, look at this detail. And then the final police car is actually going to be, uh, going to be over by the cathedral. So let's just skate on over there. There is a, what looks like to be a busted fire hydrant. And then the final police car is right over here. To get it, just jump and right. And that's it. And let's... Oh, oh, I wanted to say hi to the train. Let's say hi to the bus instead. Hi! So that's all the tapes. You're busted! Officer Dick has arrived! Who is Officer Dick? Well, we'll elaborate on that later. But now, let's go to our final competition level. Roswell, New Mexico. Home to aliens and mythical things alike. For the Concrete Conspiracy 99 in Roswell, New Mexico, the hardest competition in this game, and for good reason, it's the final competition, it deserves to be hard. There are many, many ways you can go for this. 
and again, this is why I wish Bucky Elastic had the, uh, the backflip special move, because if he did, my job would actually be really easy. But he doesn't, so I have to get a little bit creative. What you want to do, you want to go off this ramp, and then if you have a special, you want to activate it as you go over that ramp. If you can do that, you will get an insane amount of points. Like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. You will get a lot of points. If you have something like a backflip, which is worth a considerable amount of points, and if you, uh, you do that over that ramp, you're pretty much set. Let's go ahead and throw in a hand plant for variety. And that takes care of the first run. And we got a 95.4 on the first run, which places us directly above Tony Hawk. So now let's go for the second run of three. And let's rinse and repeat, because that's what we do. This is how we wash our hands, fa la 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 Kind of thing. Kickflip to Indy, not bad. Go for a 50-50 grind coming off the ramp this time. And let's do a method. Already puts us pretty close to our required goal for this. Getting closer. There we go! That should do it! Oh wow, that actually... That, that should do it! One more hand plant! Aw, oh, aw, oh, no hand plant. But let's do a Japan Air for good luck. 96! I think we're good here. So yay, we've won our final medal. A gold medal, to be exact. Congratulations, you've earned a medal in every competition. Now sit back and enjoy the show. And well, this is what we get. Bales! A staple that's been in a lot of the Tony Hawk games. This is how painful skateboarding can get. So, make sure you go and, uh, you get safety pads or something. Hey, Slam City Jam, that's a cool place. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that guy just ate it. And he's dead. Anyways, congratulations! We have scored all golds! We are the top pro skater in the land! Watch this, then get off your couch and go skate! And here we have some footage from the end, actually! The, uh, the skateboarding video that was done by Birdhouse, which I've actually seen, and uh, it's pretty good! I like it! Bunky classic, just shredding it up with uh, Vilified playing in the background. And I believe that little section with the ramps was used in uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 at some point. But yay, we're finished! We are finally finished. So I'll just skip this. And now that we're finished, let's go into Free Skate here. And here is what we get for collecting all 30 tapes. Officer Dick, a police officer. As you can see, his, his base stats are actually somewhat balanced. He is 43 years old, born in the USA. Hometown is Mallwood, 25 years pro. Regular stance with a height of 5 foot 11. And his beginning decks are got pork, which I totally doesn't look disgusting. An American way, which is typical badge gun cop cliche. 
So that does it! That does it for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Uh, it's glad to finally have the stun, glad to be able to record finally. So, uh... I'll just leave it as this. This is the end. <laughs> Literally. This is the end of the Let's Play. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for sticking through my... thing of a uh, recording schedule. Hopefully I'll try to have a better one here in the future because I would really much like to. And, uh, yeah. That, uh, that does it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And, uh, more things to come in the future, hopefully.